Okay, so in this part we're going to go ahead and start um, cleaning things up a little bit and adding a bit more resolution in the corners and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Probably the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is fill in this gap. So there are many ways of doing this. We'll probably just go ahead and go to mesh and fill mesh if I find it. Mm -mm -mm, fill hole. And then we're going to have to go ahead and add in all these um, cuts. So let's go ahead and get out our interactive split tool. There we go. And let's go ahead and make these cuts quick. It's a bit annoying. Uh, we could also go ahead and extrude the... Um, could go ahead and extrude like the bottom loop and then merge all the vertices together. That might be... That would probably take just as much time. Um, I don't really know any other better way of doing this. So if you do, do let me know. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and make these cuts across here and make sure that we go ahead and cut it in the right way. I'm into the right vertex. So if you make a mistake, you can just go ahead and uh, hit backspace like I just did then. Um, to take away a point. Okay, so let's go all the way down to the bottom, cut this in as well, and this just takes a bit of time. Um, there's another thing um, while I'm doing this that I'll let you guys know is that um, when I'm modeling, it seems, I'm sure if you're fairly, I mean, this tutorial is aimed at more sort of intermediates um, but if you're fairly new to this and um, you're kind of like um, get put down by when you watch tutorials and you sort of see um, people model without any mistakes and so on um, well for me anyway that is not the case at all um, I spend a lot of time on preparing these tutorials so you guys don't see the mistakes but um, in real, when I first well, when I first modeled this case anyway, I made a lot of mistakes and it took a lot of uh, experiments to get it right. So, don't get sort of put down by um, watching people model and they don't make any mistakes because they most likely do, and it takes a lot of experiments. But anyway, so um, now we got that face um, filled in, and let's go ahead and probably add a bit more um, cuts in here. Uh, to get this a bit smoother. So let's go into our top view and turn on x-ray. And I'm, I just really want to add in a couple of um, divisions here so it will smooth a little bit better. Um, well first, if you go ahead and have a look, this is actually an angon, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we can make sure that we don't have any by going to mesh cleanup. And then make sure that you have uh, select matching polygons on and apply to selected polygons and then face more than four side checked on and then hit apply. As you can tell, it will go ahead and select the face that, um, that are angons. We only have one. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. So probably the way you can go ahead and do this is we're just going to go ahead and add in a loop around here and as you can tell it doesn't go all the way around because of the fact that this is an angon so it doesn't go through it we're just going to add one in there and then let's go ahead and use a slide edge tool and slide this down a bit with the middle mouse button and let's go ahead and make sure i have the, the whole loop selected and i'm just gonna push it down here Okay, and now we're just going to use the interactive split to go ahead and make a cut here so we get rid of the angon. Now we'll probably do the same thing when we go ahead and add in a few more cuts here. So let's go ahead and probably we can actually just add in a loop. So let's go ahead and use our insert edge loop again and add in a loop around here and then go into our top view. And let's go ahead and move this wet. So I'm just going to select these two, just drag it out here. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the top half as well. So insert edge loop again. And this will actually go around the front. Um, that shouldn't really cause us any issues. I mean, we got to be uh, careful uh, that we don't add in too many like next to each other because what will start to happen is these edges will sort of go hard. So we, um, the shape isn't going to be as smooth anymore. 
So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is where we added this in, I'm just going to select this loop and let's go ahead and do that in perspective and then go to my slide edge tool again, go back into a top view and let's go ahead and uh, slide this along if I can. Go ahead and do it in perspective. Okay, so I'm just sliding it across a little bit so there will be a bit more space and I'll do the same thing with this one as well. Uh, just to make sure, we probably wouldn't have any issues anyway but um, just for the sake of it we'll do anyway. And let's go ahead and grab them two verts and then push them out a bit and I'll also go ahead and do the same thing with these. So I'm just trying to have a smooth sort of transition going on here. Okay, so that looks great. So now when we go ahead and smooth this, uh, after we added in the edge loops, we should have a nice smooth curve going on here. So once we added this in, you see we got these two edge loops that we added in going down here on the side. It shouldn't really cause us any issues. Um, if it does later on down the line, then we'll go ahead and sort it out. But for now, we'll just leave it as it is. Um, the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do, I think, is do the same thing on the side. So try to add in a bit more res here. So when we go ahead and smooth it, it will smooth nicer. And it shouldn't really cause any issues. It should be fairly simple to do. So we'll just add in <coughs> a couple of extra loops here. And we just the only thing that we've got to be careful about here is that we don't add them in too high up here because again then we'll start losing this curve but down here it should be perfectly fine shouldn't cause us any issues so let's go ahead and select these words again and start pushing them around and I'll try to keep them pretty straight okay so that's pretty good and let's just go ahead and add one um, up here if you can let's go ahead and try to sort that one out so I'm just going to go ahead and add one in here. As you can see, this one goes all the way down here, uh, which is a bit of an issue. So we're going to have to go ahead and um, sort out some of this um, flow. So if we have a look, if I wanted to edge, add an edge that would go down here, it would not happen. So what I'm going to do instead is edit up here and hopefully it will not um, interact with this curve. We can sort of have a look at it here, so we don't really get any artifacts, so it should be fine. So I'm just going to go back into the side view and then select this guy. And get this to go up a bit. And also I should really move um, this up. And we should probably add one more here. And drag this up and then we can drag this guy down and hopefully um, well this edge will probably freak out when we smooth it but we're just gonna have to um, have a look we could go ahead and um, cut this up across that we're probably gonna do actually instead of doing this so let's go ahead and do that actually um, so now that we added this in all we gotta do is just cut across so shift right click and then I'll go um, actually might now it might go around so we can go ahead and actually do it this way we'll add in a loop here and then I'm just going to select that edge and then go to the other side and select that edge and double click it okay now once we have that just right click and delete edge and I do it work out the way I wanted it so instead of what we're going to do is first we're going to go ahead and merge it. So what we want is this to be connected. So I'll connect them. And we'll make a triangle here, but we'll go ahead and sort it out. Okay, so what we need to get rid of now is this loop. Like so. So delete that edge. And now we got this loop going all the way around like so. Okay. And now we can also actually go ahead and um, get rid of this. Okay. And I should sort of 
help us out. And now the only problem that we have here is um, this triangle. And we could actually easily turn this into a quad. So let's go ahead and just um, get rid of these faces. And then we're just going to go ahead and extrude um, these guys. Oops. Like so. And let's go ahead and merge the verts. Oh, press the wrong one. Merge vertex tool. Snap these up. And let's just go ahead and extrude this guy. Merge vertex tool. Bam, bam. Okay, so that's great. Let's go ahead and line this up. So I'm just going to grab them verts and straighten them. And I'm going to move this guy up. Okay, that's cool. So we just got rid of that. Okay, and hopefully, actually we should have moved that up. Let's go ahead and move that back down because that will actually um, interfere with this. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go away from our reference a tiny bit. And we're going to drag this whole thing down. And snap this back down. Ooh, that's super low. That should be fine. Okay, and that way it doesn't freak out as much. Okay, so that's really good. So now that we got that sorted, uh, we're probably going to have to do the same thing on the bottom. Let's have a look how that's looking. Okay. So again, because our reference is not lining up perfectly, and I'm pretty sure this is not rotated, <coughs> we're going to have to go ahead and uh, just guess it with our eyes. So we can't move this because um, this needs to be perfectly straight. Or we can move those, these guys. So let's go ahead and try to make a nicer curve going on here. And as you can tell, I'm going away from the reference. Um, but that should be fine. So here I'm going to add one more loop. And again, we can't move this um, that way either. We can move that up and down. But uh, this is only there to go ahead and support this sort of corner a little bit nicer. So it will sort of, um, when we smooth it, it will smooth in between these. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add in one more here just to support it more. And we will have to add in more across here as well later on down the line, but for now it should be fine. Okay. So this is coming together. Um, before we go ahead and finish, wrap this part up, uh, let's go ahead and um, make this cut across here. So let's go into a top view really quick. Actually, you should probably do it in perspective. So select this and then shift right click and go to split, split polygon tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and start adding in this um, supporting edge, and we've got to do it sort of manually. And then we might have to merge some of these verts together. Okay, so I'm going across here and then here. Okay, and we're going to have to do it through the bottom as well, really quick. And luckily we deleted the other half, so we don't have to do for both sides. We'll just duplicate the saver. Okay, so we're nearly done. And we really don't need this face. And let me just undo that. And undo that. And this doesn't want to line up. Okay, um, we don't need this face, so let's just go ahead and delete that really quick. And let's go ahead and sort this out. So here, as this this is going to be a supporting edge that goes around, we're going to have to go ahead and just clean this up a bit by merging this work to there, and that should give us a nice little loop going to going around there. 
Okay, so that's great. Um, let's wrap this part up and I'll see you guys in the next part. Okay, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far.